Good morning, modern steaders. I got the pigs to go out by the pasture pig mobile last night. I'm curious if they slept in it or if they're in the IBC tote. Oh man. Chops, you were supposed to sleep in the PPM. Yeah. I got you all the way down here last night. Come on, guys. We're not leaving the pasture pig mobile here. This is just an area so we can get the pigs from their pen using the pasture pig mobile so we can get them in it. And then we're going to transfer them over yonder right here. <laughs> and the plan is to get them working in this pasture. We'll have them till it up, get all the rocks out. We'll move them. We'll go behind them, rake it, and then seed it. We're going to have them help us build our pasture. We're making some really good progress on our post and beam bond kit that we got from Jamaica Cottage Shop. Oh, I can't wait to see how far we get on it today, guys. Man, does that feel good to be building the barn. <sighs> Let's let the babies out first. If they want to come out, probably not. <laughs> one and little ones. They're like, yeah, we're sleeping. Good morning. <clears throat> I think Hope's getting back in the feeder again because all the other kids are doing it now. You ready, Willow? You gotta get your head milk in the stand. The barn build yesterday went really well. I was very happy with how everything went together. Man, this is going to be a really fun project. Going for a ride, little man. Watch out. Should they be anything good? Go ahead, go join your buddies. They're all over there in the feeder. It's not supposed to rain out today, but it's not looking too promising. I <sighs> hope we don't get any rain. They're filling out nicely. It's gonna be a while before they start laying eggs, but I can't wait to see the colors that they lay. The copper marons lay a dark chocolate, and the olive egg layers will lay an olive color egg. That's gonna make a nice addition to our egg basket. What do you guys want, huh? There you go. Come on, Tanner, come. Good boy. So now, I need to figure out layout. So 88 to the center of the post. Be here, so we need to go 86. These lines right here, it's going to be where our these lines right here is where our upright 4x4 post is gonna go. I'm gonna do the same thing to that side and we'll be right back. Nothing like building your own barn and drinking a morning cup of coffee. Ah, all right. Let's set these aside for now. We're gonna need these two. 
If I have any wane, like this right here, I've been setting it to the outside edge because the outside is going to get sided with wood siding. So you're never gonna see that once the barn is built. And if we kept it to the inside, we'd see it, if that makes sense. That's one of the things I've been keeping an eye on. And now we are flush. It's not the end of the world if you have the wane in on the inside, but it'll just look nicer. It's one of those things. The finished product will look a lot different. The goats are out. Look at that, guys. Ha, huh, what a good day. Birds are chirping. All right. Leave this one a little heavy on the outside. Now it's nice and flush. I'll go back afterwards and I'll put some nails in. The kit comes with all the hardware you need in nail forms. And me working by myself, it's a lot easier to go around and get everything screwed in place. And then we'll go back around and add some nails. These two posts right here will be our last two big posts. Let's get them up. Thing together. Nice. Now I'll hand nail some of it. Last long one. Started first. All right, now we'll pull it the rest of the way. Make sure we're flush. Nice. This one, I might have to grab some ratchet straps. Ratchet strap it together. So I wanna get that a little bit tighter. All right, I will strap the strap 
on this post to that one. Let's do it this way. That's getting better. There we go. I like that. I get a little bit tighter. Two in this one. I like it. Now we need to work on these front posts on these two, and then we'll put that one on. All right, so we got this one, which will go outside like so. Now we're going to do that on this one. Let's double check our garage door opening measurement. We should have 110 inches. 110, right on the money. So these posts will go right flush to the outside on both sides. Switch over to our RSS rugged structural screws. So this one is gonna go like so. We'll keep the little bit of wane on the outside. Let's clean up those. six inch screws for here. We are tight here and here. grab my level and check this first before I put any screws right there. One, let's go two. Let's do the same thing on that side now.
My guess is everything is racked and we just gotta spread these posts, but instead of assuming, I just wanna double check that all of our measurements are what they are supposed to be. Yep, 110. Okay, so we just gotta rack this a little bit. There we go. Boom. I like it. Nice. That side looks pretty flush. Yep. Ha ha, guys. All right. Let's get that one lagged in place. Let's get this in place. I got a couple of screws in it. Tap it in with the hammer. Yep. That's all nice and flush on the outside. I like it. Oh yeah, that's nice and rugged, boys. Next, we need these two pieces. So 3300DB. My guess is they're right here. And we brought them over yesterday. 3300DB for one, for two. Yes, sir. Tells us where we want the top of them. And also, they already marked the layout. Boom, boom. And then same thing on this side. I like it. I like seeing the goats out too. the rat to strap quite a bit when I was building the outdoor kitchen guys. They work awesome. I just went and grabbed another load of lumber. I need some bracing material. I need to brace up the main structure now and get everything plumb and square and level. And then we can go on. I'm gonna start on this back wall and then work my way forward. We'll make it easier. That is level going this way. Going this way, it's got to get adjusted. But this way, what we're working on right now. Perfect, guys. Look at that. I like it. I like it. This last one is out a smidge. The top's got to come out a little bit. This top corner first, down like this. And then I'll push it and I'll nail it down here after. And we'll push that corner out and recheck everything. We're gonna keep up all this temporary bracing until we have the roof system on, then we'll take it down. So I'm gonna use screws because all this is gonna be coming back down afterwards. If you're using nails, just don't sink the nails all the way. I'm gonna give it a shout. We might have went too much, which is good. We can let it back. No, sir, that's perfect. Perfect. Let's see if we ended up messing up these posts. Nope, that's good right there. And we'll check the last one. I like it. This makes this all nice and rigid. We gotta work the walls this way and that way and this way. Hold everything tight. 
Let's grab a quick reference mark and see what we need to do. That's got to come this way a little bit. This one is showing the same. It can come this way. <clears throat> so I'll probably put the one high and pull it down low. This one's still free floating. So let's put this brace in, that brace in, and then we'll deal with that. And they do supply all the temporary bracing that we need, already labeled. <laughs> let's do it like this, like so. Oop. Now I want to keep all this, hold on, let me get the screw started. I do want to keep all this bracing low. We don't want it sticking up above. If we do that, we'll end up causing ourselves trouble if we need anything to be here. If that makes sense. Let's see if we can get this to shift. Got some movement, but I don't know if I got enough. Gotta come a smidge more. Yeah, we got at least, we got more than half of it out, so we just gotta come a little bit more. If I make a pencil mark of where that was, and then pull. Nope, same spot. Alright, I call it a springboard, but you usually need two people to do it. But it might work if I just put pressure on it. So you put pressure on it and pull down. Let's see, survey says yes. How's this one looking? Right on the money. I like it. No. All right, let's check this side. Dead level. That level. That one's not screwed in yet, so we don't need to check that one level <laughs> dead level guys oh, we're still good this way awesome all right this time we're gonna brace it the opposite we went high to low we're gonna go from low to high on this corner uh, so we're gonna go like there to there okay All right, let's do the same thing here. See if we can rest it this time on the ladder. Kinda. We can get one screw down here going. Let's bring it over here. Lock this one up. So right here we're falling on a rafter. If we went high, that'd be in our way. I'm gonna go there. Go here. Check this one for level. Looks like it's gotta go that way to me. No, that's saying it's perfect. The eyeball's not always right, guys. Give it a little tap to the outside. Yeah, that's good. Double check it. Level. 
level. Put a couple of lags in. Now I want to temporarily brace it up from side to side so this way it'll lock it all together so when we're going to put the roof rafters on we don't have to worry about the post and beam spreading on us and that would mess up our main roof peak. So if we put all this bracing in now it'll be ready when we go to put the roof rafters on. All right, we got that end secured flush. I have 16 feet marked here. So I gotta back off one screw, push that over a smidge, and then we'll have, let's see if we can do this. There we go. And then we will be everywhere we need to be for measurements. All right, so that's free. Let's check 16 right there. I like it. Awesome. And a mark 16. Mark it. Flip it over. Cause all that I want is for you to be happy. And give me a chance to show that you can be. Well, open your Think we can get the pigs to come out? Maybe, probably. Probably. They did yesterday. They did. It's gonna look so different once the barn's built. Yeah. You coming out? Come on. Oh, they came did come down here and they ate all the scrap food. Yep, they ate a lot of it though, believe it or not. There was a lot more there. What do you think, Hope? says, yeah, I'm weaning you kids. You ain't drinking that much more milk. How many eggs you think we'll have today? 
dozen. A whole dozen? Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. We got 11 yesterday. We did get 11. So, it, it, it wouldn't really surprise me if we got one more. Maybe we got, today. maybe we'll get 15 today. Maybe. Guys ready? Awesome. All right, let's see how many eggs. I gotta clean out these nesting boxes. Keep forgetting. Three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Olivia, ten. Ten? Yep. Sounds like crazy where she can have is trying to play one, but she's too scared. It's nice to be one step closer to the finished project. This has been fun. Everything's been going together really good. Some of the bigger posts, we've just been using leverage to get them up in place. I've been very happy with how it's all been coming together. We got most of the big stuff done. We now we need to frame up for the doors, the windows, get the bracing in for the posts. Then we'll be able to start getting the siding on and we'll put in the loft and then we'll come the roof rafters. That's going to prove to be the interesting part, but it's always an adventure. It's always something new we can learn. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. We'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and I guess now barn building. Bye.